let's talk about how to uh, tweak the tone uh, on edit software. So as you can see, um, the amp section is here. So you can choose uh, the amp model you prefer and then start to do the tone tweaking. And here uh, you can tweak the bias. So it's the hidden up. You can't uh, tweak it on the physical device, but you can tweak it on the editor. Okay, so uh, you can tweak the sound as you want. Then uh, let's talk about the black order. So you can drag the, the black uh, in any position as you want. Even you can put uh, the effect into the amp and the IR section. So now uh, I use the additional uh, white cable, the insert cable, and I use the UX tape echo as the delay pedal uh, in the send return section. So you can hear it and uh, I can put it after the eye and I can even put it uh, in the front side. Okay, so what's the main difference? Uh, here is a good example. Usually we put uh, the delay after, uh, in the end of the signal chain. So if I add the distortion, but if I put in front of the distortion, I can do something interesting. So if I put it after uh, the distortion, sound will be like this. So it's not so interesting. Uh, so you can adjust the black order as you want. And uh, uh, we can set up the scene function. So for example, uh, for this one, uh, I will put uh, scene 1 as this setting. And then I will put scene 2 to engage the distortion. <laughs> Then uh, I can put engage the delay. Okay, so that's all my setting. And I press save it. So when I press the shameful switch. So that's it. And I could even uh, do something interesting. For some people, maybe uh, you don't use the Synth 3. So here you can set up this and disengage the Synth 3. So uh, when I press the Synth switch, it will only go Synth 1 and Synth 2. So that's it. So after you tweak all the parameters, then you can save into the device and uh, you can even do the patch export. So you just click it and uh, choose the amp model and uh, the related uh, patch to export, something like this. So and you can even export all the patch like this. Then I can do import for you know, like this, or I can import all the page. Okay, that's it. You can click the drum and loop, click the drum and loop, and uh, you can choose the uh, drum style as you want. So, for example, I use this.
and the interesting thing is uh, for the loop you can press the space key uh, on the PC then it will trigger the recording button so you don't need to uh, click it by the mouse and uh, on the loop will have the auto tempo detection so you just record it and uh, the drum machine will follow the speed so let's do it <laughs> For the USB audio, you can uh, set up the input volume and the output volume and also the earphone level. So uh, we will talk about the recording tips in the next section. So now let's talk about the general settings. Um, for the routing mode, it's also related to the USB routing. So you can do normal recording or uh, including a loopback. And while you bypass the, all the effects, you can tweak the dry and wait and it can be used for the DAW's plugin and also you can do reamp or dry out so we will talk more and talk the details uh, in the recording tips so let's check what is parallel follow it means uh, the device if you engage the parallel follow uh, the device will remember the parameter you tweak for example uh, if I set up like this so even uh, I go to other effects and uh, I come back to the RC boost you will remember the parameter uh, you tweak next time so for example like this so you will remember uh, the, the parameter you tweak so that will be useful uh, because you will remember your tweaking habit so that's the parallel and the scene setup we already talked about it uh, the default scene setting has three scenes and for some people, if you don't need uh, the scene 3, you only tri trigger uh, from scene 1 to scene 2, then you can disengage the scene 3. And here, you can check uh, the MIDI setting. So you can change the MIDI CC. Uh, so this is the available. The green one is the available one. You can change it. And uh, if you want to uh, trigger the preset, like the amp model, uh, for example, we totally have 12 amp model. Each amp model is something like one preset. So you have to use the program change, the C0, and from the 0, zero to uh, 11. So totally you have 12 presets. So if you are interested in this part, you can check Joko's video.